Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I think I, mean, I am going to adjust the settings on my outdoor wood boiler here. So I got a little cheat sheet here. It's kind of sideways, but you know, talk in the manual it says, you know, moisture of wood and what to set it to. So I am going to change it because in the directions here it says if you're between 15 and 25%. Top dampener max is 65, so let's change that. So I'm just gonna do a trial run. I just put a bunch of wood in there, about as much as I would for the day. 65, okay. Max open top. Top dampener minimum, which is this. Should be 40%. Let's adjust that. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Not that I'm screwing it up. Okay, so we have 65, 40, and then the O2 set point at 4%. So let's escape. So O2, escape. So that should be down to four. So, or 4D. No, 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 not the right one. Yeah. So 4%, is that it? Let's see. Set 02%, 4. Set 02 4%. So, we should be good there. Let's, uh, let's get back out of here. Now we should be all right. 65, 40, 65, 40. Set O2 at 4%. Everything's optimized. So we should be good. Okay. We will see. See, I thought you had to like stop, run, and redo it. I don't know. Either way, it's, it's adjusted, so we'll see. We'll see if that works. <clears throat> Because I'm going to moisture test some of my wood here so you guys can see. Yes, I know you're supposed to split it and then, and then test it, but this split wood here is so small, I don't think it's going to uh, make a big difference. Could be wrong, but... So I'm just going to set this down here. This is the moisture meter that came with the stove, so it should be pretty good. I mean, this is very small wood, so I mean, what if I split it, what's the difference? I, I should be able to shove this in pretty far. There it is. So 13, I don't know if you can even see that, but 12% to 13. That's this piece. I mean, this is really small, so I, I mean, this is gonna be the, should be give us a good 14%. 13.7, so I mean, it's really dry. Yeah, 17. Fourteen point three. <laughs> Thirteen point eight. So yeah, she's it's extremely dry. So the original settings here, I'll take a look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was really wet wood or moisture content was really high. So let's see what we got. So the original settings, according to the open and close, moisture was from twenty six to thirty five percent, and I just adjusted it to fifteen to twenty five percent. And I could change it to less than 15%, but I think that's, that might be a little much. So, so we'll see. And it's gonna be hard to judge um, if, the, if the, the wood lasts longer. I mean, I should be able to know because I know how much I usually put in, right? So, um, yeah, no, I'm curious to see if that makes any type of a difference, you know, so. Because most of the wood that I throw in, you know, that comes out of my woodshed is all, you know, is all split around the same time. So it's all pretty much, and they're all the same size. It's all dry. So, you know, and 
And if I do pack it more full and I put a little bit of wetter stuff on top, it should be baked out by the time it hits the bottom. So I know, I think that should make a difference if I do pack it full again. So if I notice a difference in the next couple days, if I think I'm using less wood, I'm gonna redo the test to see if I can get longer than 48 or 49 hours on my burn time. Cause I've never played with it, the, the setting, so I, you would think it would make a difference, right? Because the setting that I was at was for really wet wood, so I'm thinking it will burn longer. I hope so. Um, if I can use a little bit less wood, that'd be huge. But as we all know, like, you know, going through a lot of wood sucks, so cause you just gotta have more prepared. But so we'll see. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing when I run my snow melt because it, it's cranking to, to keep up the temp. So, but maybe who knows. Uh, it's all trial and error really so so yeah we'll see um I'll, I'll i'll follow up here probably later today just to see if i notice a difference and um if it's burning good if the timer settings are good if i have to adjust that again i don't think so i've never had I, since i've started this so i've never had an issue with me losing my cold bed it's phenomenal so I don't think me changing those couple settings are gonna make that big of a difference, but I could be wrong. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll, do, I'll follow up just to see if it made a difference. And for some reason, if it's burning like crap and it's, it's struggling, then I'll just put it back to where it was. So, but yeah, stay tuned. Hey guys, so <clears throat> it's been 24 hours now since I adjusted the setting. Well, it's been a little over 24 hours, but since I adjusted it, um, I think it's, I did that around eight o'clock a.m. yesterday morning. It is roughly nine, so 25 hours, whatever. Um, so I've loaded it twice, or three times now, I just filled it since the new setting. So last night, I think it was seven o'clock, um, maybe even 6.30 when I came out to fill it. I filled it earlier than usual. I just didn't really feel like coming out at nine. and so. What I noticed when I opened it up, now I don't know if this has to do with the setting or not, but I'm assuming, um, there was still a little wood left in there, but the the coals were a little different. So there were actually bigger coals, like actual coals. I, before I used to have just like real smaller stuff. Maybe like, a, I don't know, the size of like a pea to, I'm well, probably will say about a marble size coals. So this morning now, so like last night when I came out, there was an actual size of like real like bag of charcoal size, right? It was bigger and there was a ton of it. And I'm like, whoa, that's that's really good. And there was a lot of it, right? This morning, same thing. There was a little bit of wood left and a, and a lot of coals, like good coals where no matter what, you just throw wood in there and it's fine. Barely stirred it up, you know. Um, so last night I put in a little bit more, I, I put the exact same amount of wood in there as I usually do. I left the garage on all night, which I normally don't do. I actually forgot to turn it off. I have a setting that it turns off at like nine and then turns back on at 5.30. It holds the heat pretty well. I just don't want to keep heating it and heating it for no reason. <coughs> um, so it ran, the, what the garage ran for an extra I don't know what seven hours or so eight hours so it uh when i came out this morning the amount of wood that was left was really good and i let it go so i filled it at well, let's say 6 30 i came out here at nine so way longer than 12 hours about 15 hours and there was still wood in there right so um the way it looks by me changing the setting it definitely made a difference i wouldn't say a drastic difference but i have noticed though even throughout the day yesterday, because I kept like looking at the stack when it's burning. Um, so obviously, just after you fill, there's going to be a little bit of smoke coming out because it has to readjust. Because uh, you have the door wide open, right? So, but after that, it really didn't. I didn't really see a lot of like condensation or moisture coming out. You could, if you really looked, you would see it. So I don't know if that has something to do. You know, changing the setting, it's it's gassing a lot better now. I'm assuming because I, I kid you not, like I couldn't tell if it was running or not running. So usually you look outside, you'd, you, you see the condensation or the moisture in the air. Like right now you could see a little bit of it because I just put the wood in there. Um, 
so I was like, oh man, I don't know if it, it burnt out or, or, or whatever, but no, I can't, I, would, I was working all day here and I went and looked at it and it's is in the heating cycle and it operated just fine. I didn't time any of this, of the cycles to see if it was better or worse. But the fact that on the inside, it was a lot better looking as far as coals go and I'm burning the same wood. So it's not like it's a different species or anything that I say it's just so far has been beneficial. Um, now I know when I do the test again, when I pack it full, there's obviously variables involved, weather, kind of wood. It's all locusts that I have remaining, so it's all the same kind of wood. <clears throat> they were, it was all split at the, within the same week, so it's, all the moisture should be roughly the same. Um, which, as I noted in the other video, it was all between 12 and 15 percent, give or take 16 percent, depending on where you stuck the probe. So, so far so good. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited. I, I almost want to change it again, but I'm going to leave it because I feel like if I go lower, it needs to be like goddamn matchsticks dry, you know, and, I, and like I said, occasionally I throw in wetter wood. So I think now it's, it's running more efficient. Um, I think tomorrow morning is when I'm going to pack it full. I'll probably do a video for you guys for that so you could see it. And it won't be a couple days later because I'm, I'm a few videos ahead. So I'm going to pack it full tomorrow morning. So when you see this video the next day, it'll be the results. It should be at least. Um, and I, unless it goes, you know, three days, then it probably won't be. But whatever. You'll see it. So I, I think how much longer it'll burn, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm guessing maybe two and a half days. Because if I, I got an extra, for sure, three, four hours out of it with the garage on all night and the other garage. So uh, I, I think if it's just the house, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's it's burning really efficient. I'll know more today. You know, it'll be it'll be two full days as of tomorrow morning, so that I may change my mind or not. But so far, so good. And like I said, I just changed it to the 15 to 25 percent moisture wood, and I haven't had any issues. The inside looks kind of the same, besides the coals look good. The stack. Sometimes before you could see a little bit of smoke. Now no. So I don't know if that's because it was pumping so much air into the box that. It was just cranking it so fast, like sucking it through to the fan area that it wasn't gassing as fast as it should because it was just sucking it so fast. I don't know. Obviously more air if it's wet, it needs to be cranking, right? So now it's less, a little bit less air and maybe it's gassing better now, which it must be because I'm using less wood. Not a drastic amount, but it is less. So we'll see. I mean, I'll keep you posted, but yeah. So the next video you'll see will be me packing it full and pray for the best i'm hoping if i could get two and a half days out of it and, and i might stick you know pieces like this it's definitely bigger this is ash this so it's it's fairly dry i, I don't have much big pieces so i may uh have to scrounge up a couple and i may put that on top or three quarters of the way up or something because it's hard to stick that big piece on top but so it's going to kind of skew the results, but by the time that big piece gets down to the bottom, the moisture is going to be baked out of it. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited. I mean, a little bit of a, a couple, you know, you know, changes on the on the the screen there made a little difference. So, if I can get this thing to be a little bit more efficient, that'd be great. So, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, as always, keep burning.